Welcome to the Access SQL Seminar Part 1, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. The purpose of this seminar is to teach you the SQL programming language to enhance your Microsoft Access databases. You'll learn how to add more power to your database forms and reports, while at the same time reduce the clutter of having lots of extra saved queries in your database. Plus, you'll learn some new query features that are only available in Access if you know SQL, such as a union query. In today's class, you'll learn what SQL is and what it stands for, and you'll learn why you should know SQL in order to improve your Access databases. You will learn all about the different types of SQL components, including the select, from, where, and order by clauses. You'll also learn about all the different types of operators, the between keyword, wildcard characters, and lots more. Then after we've gone through all the theory of SQL and some examples of simple queries, we'll build two practical examples in Access. The first will be a customer list form that will show customer details, and we'll change the list by clicking on two buttons. We'll sort by last name or sort by their credit limit, and we'll use dynamic SQL statements to change the data. And for our second practical example, I'll show you how you can reuse forms and reports by taking one form and showing both customers or employees or both by using an SQL statement to change the data that fills the form in. This seminar covers the SQL programming language. The examples that we'll cover in today's class are specific to Microsoft Access but they're generally universal for most database programs. SQL is usually SQL, regardless of what database program you're using. There are some minor differences, and I'll mention what some of them are. But usually, if you know SQL, it's applicable to all database programs. This is not a class on Microsoft SQL Server. SQL Server is a specific type of database server made by Microsoft and that will be covered in a separate class. Again, this class is only on the SQL language, not Microsoft SQL Server, although the SQL language that you will learn in today's class will be applicable if you do decide to use SQL Server in the future. For large corporate databases or web servers or for databases that get a lot of traffic or need a lot of security, I do recommend Microsoft SQL Server as your database backend. And again, I will have separate courses for that in the future. This course, again, is for the SQL language. Prerequisites. This is not a beginner access class. I'm not going to teach you how to make tables and basic queries and forms and reports. I assume you know how to do that stuff. If not, I recommend my Access 100 classes where you can learn the very, very basics. The 200 series is a little more intermediate stuff, um, advanced queries and things of that nature. That's recommended. And of course, my Access 300 series covers VBA programming design and the VBA language. And that will be helpful, although not required. We are going to be doing a little tiny bit of programming when we get to the last two lessons when I show you these sample forms. I will walk you through it step by step, so if you've never done any programming before, it shouldn't be too hard to follow. Again, the focus of today's class is on the SQL, but in order to put some of that SQL into use, I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of tiny bit of programming. So follow with me, you shouldn't have any problems. I should probably also note that as of right now, I'm in the process of renaming my courses as I re-record them for Access 2010. So the 100 series is going to be called Beginner, the 200 series Expert, and the 300 series Advanced. So if you go to the website and can't find 101 and 201, that's why. Because the new courses will be called Beginner, Expert, and Advanced. So don't get confused if you see them like that on the website. As far as the version used, I will be using Access 2010 for this class. If you're using 2007, you shouldn't have any problems following along whatsoever. If you're using 2003 and before, all the material is pretty much exactly the same. The SQL hasn't changed, 
the VBA code hasn't changed, just the menus have changed, where some of the things are. Access 2007 added the new ribbon, and if you're familiar with database design, making tables and queries and forms and such, you shouldn't have any problems following along. There are a couple of different buttons, and I will show you where they have moved to in Access 2003. Now let's take a minute and learn exactly what's covered in each lesson of this seminar. In lesson one, we're going to learn what SQL is and why it's important to learn. In lesson two, we'll look at the components that make up a basic SQL command, including the select, from, where, and order by clauses. In lesson three, we're going to begin looking at more complicated where clauses. In lesson four, we're continuing on with where clauses. We'll learn about parameter queries, the like keyword, wildcard characters, the in clause, and ranges of characters. In lesson five, we're going to take a look at the order by and distinct clauses. In lesson six, we're going to tie everything that we've learned together. We're going to make a customer list form, which is an unbound form with a list box on it that has customer information, and we'll make two buttons that will change the way the data is sorted, either by last name or by the customer's credit limit, and we'll use dynamic SQL and a little bit of VBA code to do that. In lesson seven, I'm going to show you one more good example of where dynamic SQL comes in handy. We're going to make a name list form, which is a continuous form with a list of names on it, and we'll make buttons to change the SQL on the form so you can see either customers or employees or both of them at the same time using a union query. Now this seminar is part one of a three-part series. Today's seminar is going to cover the basics of SQL and teach you about select queries which is reading information from tables. Part two gets a little more advanced. We'll learn about action queries, which is using SQL to manipulate data. It's basically the same thing as an append query or a delete query in normal access. We'll also learn how to perform joins in SQL and learn about different functions like sum, max, min, the different aggregate functions. Part three is all about using SQL to modify the structure of your database, which is actually modifying and manipulating table and query design. That's a lot more advanced. For more information on what these other parts of the seminar cover, you can find complete outlines on my website. Now, if you have questions about anything covered in today's class, please feel free to post them in the Access Forum. You'll find that we have a very active community on the website where we have myself and lots of different students that like to post questions and answers to help you out if you have any problems with access. We have a general access forum on the website. You'll find a big link that says forums on the menu bar. And for this specific class, you'll see in the video player or online in our theater, a little window pops up next to the videos. And that's the student forum as well. You can post questions and answers in there, and we'll do our best to help you out. If you have any other kind of questions, you can contact us directly at accesslearningzone.com slash contact. Now sit back, relax, and get ready to learn some Access SQL.